Welcome to A Cup of Joe with Binko. My name is Kay Huff and I will be your Binko host for today. The purpose of A Cup of Joe with Binko is to give you a lot of information in a very small amount of time about Binko's products and services. And today I have Ben on. Hi, Ben. Hi, Kay. Nice to see you. Uh, ben is our Veritas partner, which helps with offices that are starting up brand new practices. And so, Ben, I get this question a lot. When can I start my negotiations? When do I need to bring you in? How do I set my fees, et cetera, et cetera. So I am happy to know that you are there to support a new owner and a new practice. So why don't you give us a little bit of information about how it works? Absolutely. So the first question is uh, with regards to when should I start? The answer to that is as soon as possible, as early as possible, simply because when you add negotiations and credentialing together, that's a several month process, right? But when you're working with a professional on getting that stuff done, sometimes if you're not credentialed with an insurance company by the time you open or take over an existing practice, you at least have somebody to guide you through that process on how to deal temporarily as an out-of-network provider with that insurance plan. But in, in essence, the work, what you need to get started on the credentialing and negotiations is you just need a tax ID number. Um, if you're filing as an S-Corp, you don't need a tax ID number right, right away. You can use your social security number, <clears throat> which can be converted to your tax ID afterwards, after you have that developed. In addition to a tax ID, of course, you'll need an address, a practice location address, and a phone number. If you're dealing with Medicaid, uh, you'll, need, you'll need a lot more <laughs> than that. Uh, type 2 MPI number, if, uh, type 2 MPI number is required if you're um, dealing with PPOs but have more than one doctor in the practice. But at the very least, um, tax ID number, telephone number, or you can use your cell phone number. If you don't have a telephone number, that can be changed to your practice number as soon as you have a practice number developed. Um, and that's really it, you know. So the, the issue that we're seeing, Kay, is that a lot of doctors are waiting last minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's not good because if it's California, if you're already credentialed with Delta in California, it's taking three to four months just to add a new location. And if you really think about that, if you, if you close tomorrow and notify, or at least start the process today, you're gonna to be out of network with Delta Dental for three to four months, which means Delta doesn't accept assignment of benefit unless you're in network, they're gonna send the checks to the patients. And the question becomes, well, how do you deal with that? You know, Because history shows, that a lot of those patients don't turn back and send that money back to the practice. So plan ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, give yourself plenty of time to consider and deal with the negotiations and credentialing. Yeah, I, and I'm so glad you said that. So again, the more time they give you, the better you're going to be able to give them, right? You're going to be able to actually negotiate because you don't ever really accept the first one. Am I right? That's right. There's a, there's a rounds and rounds and rounds of negotiations you know, it's kind of like buying a car and I don't want to equate it to buying a car, but it's the, the, the process is almost similar to where if you're trying to negotiate that price down for that vehicle, there's a lot of back and forth. Same thing with purchasing a house. With negotiations with, with insurance, we have a unique process um, that we don't have enough time to explain on this particular meeting. But in essence, yes, there's a lot of back and forth. Never accept that first offer. And honestly, it takes someone who's trying to do it. So I would say that it's, it takes so much time away from your practice. Really and truly, what we want you to do is focus on building that new practice or moving into that new location. Let us handle that back process for you. So please reach out today. Now, again, tell me how they would get in contact with you, Ben. Yes, the best way is work with your Benco representative and have your Benco representative reach out to us. And that way we can make sure that you are guaranteed to get the Benco discount. If you come to us directly, um, our contact information is 888-808-4513. Or you can email me. Uh, my name is Ben. So my email is ben at veritasdentalresources.com. Veritas is spelled V as in Victor, E-R-I-T-A-S. Ben at veritasdentalresources.com. And please be sure to mention Benco. In that way, you can secure that exclusive discount we provide Benco clients. I'm super excited about that. So again, thank you so much. Um, let me know if you have any questions, Ben. You've been amazing. I mean, honestly, this is some of the best information. So thank you for helping our clients. And thank you for joining me on A Cup of Joe with Binko today. It's our pleasure. Thank you so much, Kay. Have a great day, everybody.